Pope Tato 97. Why am I still awake? Because SGDQ. That's why. Thank you all again for doing this event. Loving that Barbie swag. Hello, welcome to Summer Games Done Quick 2016. We have more horrendous games coming up. Uh, coming up next is Speedy Gonzales, which I'm sure it's going to control just as well as uh, yelling at the cartoon if you were actually watching it on TV. Um, just as a reminder, we have an incentive coming up to play Mega Man 8 on the Sega Saturn as opposed to the PS1 version. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the Sega Saturn version is more difficult. And it actually has two extra stages where you fight Cutman and Woodman, uh, two previous Robot Masters from older Mega Man games. So please get those donations in. That is coming up. Uh, that is about $3,000. So, and we have about $500 of that. So please get those donations in. We have a $200 donation from Top Ramens. This is for naming Locke in Final Fantasy VI after a streamer lyric. We have an anonymous $10 donation. This is why I love SGDQ. Thanks for the Barbie run and commentary, John. Good luck and have fun. We have an anonymous $150 donation that just says, We must all hail our Lord and Savior, the Demon Chocobo. We have an anonymous $6 donation. First time watching GDQ. Now I'm hooked on speedrunning. Good job, guys.
We have a $6.66 donation from Coralis. I've never been able to donate up to this point, but now I finally can. Thanks to all the great runners, viewers, and of course everyone supporting this biannual event. Cheers from Switzerland. We have a $10 donation from Exodon. Been watching Games Done Quick two years now. This is the best time of the year, and I love that it's for a good cause. Keep up the awesome runs. And remember that that Mega Man 8 incentive is coming up. We need $3,000 to have them play it on the Sega Saturn version, which is much more difficult and has extra stages featuring uh, Robot Masters from previous Mega Man games. So get those donations in now. Fiesta time. <laughs> Dude, the animation. <coughs> Until. All right. Okay. So oh. I guess I'll introduce us before we start. I'm Keveridge, and you guys. I'm, I'm Bouncy Boy. I'm Pear Strike. And this is Valu. This is Valu. <laughs> right here. Get him up there. Can they see him? They can see him. They yeah. can see him. All right, so I'll count down right now. Let me get to the, the start screen. <laughs> All right, three, two, one, go. Yeah! <laughs> Arriba! <laughs> On delay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this game has seven worlds, or I guess levels, basically, and they have multiple acts, each one. So the purpose of this game, the point is, Sylvester and his um, cat bandits have imprisoned all your mice friends. You'll see one coming up right here. Gracias. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> so you're, the, the point of the game is you're supposed to go around and save them. But we skip a lot of them because we don't really care about them. We're not going to save the animals. <laughs> All right, so there's actually a really cool clip coming up here. I don't know why it works, actually, but it does. You just kind of wow. kick through the floor. Gracias. And that's the end of the first level right there. Save three mice hey. already. <laughs> Vamanos. <laughs> Dude, these loading screens are actually, like, really long. Yeah, they, they kind of are. <laughs> Oh, there's so much to load. <laughs> <laughs> the fastest mice <laughs> yeah. in the world. So most of these worlds have two levels, like this one, but the next world and the last world in the game have three levels. <laughs> he looks kind of like Sonic right now. But better. But better, yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Sonic never wore a hat. <laughs> What's he picking up? Cheese? Yeah, he's picking up cheese. Why is it circular? I don't know. It's special cheese. <laughs> I guess so. There's a lot of things about this game I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I was saying before, I don't know why he runs like this. I don't know why yeah. he runs like that. Save his friends. <laughs> He's really cheerful for saving all his friends trapped in cages. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing a good thing. <laughs> and he knows it. <laughs> the facial expression, but he runs deep. <laughs> Alright, hopefully I get this jump here. This jump isn't very hard. But basically, nice. when you jump, if you kick, you gain a little extra height, and you need that height to make that jump, otherwise you'll die. 
No. Oh, man. <laughs> and you could do that, too. <laughs> and I went a little far back here. Oh, jeez. All right, it's okay. No big deal. There we go. Let's just not do that again. <laughs> Dang, that jump is really tight. Yeah, it is. <laughs> he looks so happy even when he just stands around. <laughs> it's the thought of going fast. Sometimes that's all we need. Alright, so this next level is pretty simple, just a lot of running right and jumping. So if you have some donations to read, now's a good time. Uh, we have an anonymous $10 donation. Great to see some games done quick on my 22nd birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have $25 from Monkey Mind. Why is this Sonic so mousy? <laughs> <laughs> we have a anonymous six dollar and seventy five cent donation. Greetings from Germany. Please kill the animals and make bratwurst out of them. <laughs> I did say please. So. Dude, greetings from Los Gatos Banditos. <laughs> All right, so I, I picked up an extra life there because I kind of need it <laughs> after those two deaths. I don't want to game over. If you game over, you go back to the first act or level, basically, in that world that you're in. So there's a jump coming up here that saves about five seconds, and it is sub-frame, sub-pixel perfect, and I got it first try. That is Yo. pretty hype. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> That's crazy, man. That was such a good trick right there. <laughs> but yeah, that saves about five seconds. You're supposed to run to the right and then come back to the left. And coming up right now is the first boss in the game. There's three bosses all together. This world has a boss, and the last two worlds have bosses. I don't know why, it's kind of random why this one would have a boss. The first time I played this, I actually thought this boss was a squirrel. I don't know why. He sort of looks like a squirrel. Kind of looks like a squirrel. Wait, what is he? He's a cat. Oh. He's a, oh. Ga he's a gato. <laughs> yeah, he's a gato. That, I guess that makes sense. Dude, he's just a really buff squirrel. I like that better. <laughs> So on the first two shots that you have every time, like when he falls right now and the next time, you have to wait for him to jump a few times before you could hit him. But then when he comes back up here, you could hit him right away. He could also go either left or right, it's random but it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> nice. Took down the squirrel cat. <laughs> <laughs> the music in this game is great too. <laughs> it is. <laughs> All right, so this, a fair warning here. This level, there's these cats that are on jackhammers because, you know, it's a city. They're doing work. It is like 10 times louder than anything else in this game. So just be warned. By looking up there, like panning the camera up, I spawned that platform earlier. So it's moving to the right faster, which is the direction I have to go. Saves like a second. Oh my god. <laughs> my ears. My ears. <laughs> we have a $25.25 .25 donation from Snake in a Cake. Really hope my comment is read. 
First time donating since I have the available money. Good luck in all the future runs. <laughs> so this level coming up, I think, is where the run actually gets a little more difficult. The first portion of the run is pretty simple. It's so loud. <laughs> I know. Especially in our headphones. That little Gracias sound clip <laughs> has so many uses, I feel like. Gracias. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, except for the jackhammers. <laughs> I know. They're everywhere. Man, I hate when people jackhammer the roof in real life. <laughs> I think, yeah, there it is. There's like one or two more. <laughs> we have a $100 donation for from Tortu Pass Passable. Sorry about that. Go Kaislo Ren and good luck to all runners. So the next level is Ancient Keep or Ancient Keepo. <laughs> <laughs> as I like to call it. This is the first level where there's a bunch of alternate paths that you could take, so we have to make sure we route this properly. Also, this item right here is basically the item, the only item you could get in the game. Like, you could use the A button, and it's like an action button, I guess, which is how I just was breathing fire. It's the only time in the game that you use that button at all. Otherwise, it's completely useless. All right, so right here, we want to get to this middle door right here. There's a door above and a door below also, but this door brings us farther down the level than the other two. We have an anonymous $5 donation. Shoutouts to Sonic the Hedgehog 4. <laughs> you have to mash so much. I really, I, I mash way more than I should. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so this level actually, okay, so there's, when I first started running this game, as far as I knew, no one else ran it. But there was a task of both any percent and 100%. I have no idea why. But <laughs> there's a strat that was found that the task doesn't even do, like an alternate path, basically, that saves about four seconds later in this level, where you fall down into a pit, but you don't die. You could also squeeze under this giant killing thing. <laughs> but it's pretty tight, so I trying to be safe here and not go for it. So that was the alternate path right there. And I just, oops, went back in. So I'm purposely going to take damage there because I want to get down, I want to go downhill there so I gain momentum and I continue holding that even if I get hit. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else to do during these loading screens. <laughs> So this level is actually super glitchy. One time I came into this level and everything was just green and it was completely <laughs> messed up. I have no idea why. But a lot of enemies on this level will just disappear or not show up at all. There's a pillar later in the level, similar to that one on the last level that kind of crushes you that will just disappear sometimes. So we have to go over here and hit this sign because the pillar won't move up and down unless we hit that sign there. So hitting that allows us to go under it. Or maybe it just won't be there, who knows. We have a $50 donation from Nighthawk. K 
Keveridge, can you feel the sunshine? Good luck on the speedy run. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> All right, I gotta be a little safe here. Ah. All right, nice. We have a $50 donation from Anof. Kill the squirrels. Really buff squirrels that look like cats. <laughs> <laughs> I swear it's a squirrel. <laughs> Alright, so there's a cool little thing we could do there. If we, when we're moving up, like going through the air, if you are like along the side of a piece of land like that, You'll clip immediately into the floor instead of continuing to move up. Ah. So that saves about a second, not having to land. These fish right here that shoot you are also kind of random where they're going to be walking and when they'll shoot. So we kind of have to worry about that a little. The fish are working with the cats? Yeah, why yeah, are there yeah, fish? It doesn't no. make sense. That does know. not make sense. I'm not sure. I never thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going into space, we're going to space, man. Yeah, no big deal. I hear cats are a real problem out there. Yeah. Damn it, cats. <laughs> So th these are actually, I think, the best levels in the game. And I actually like the music in this level the best. But these are not only the best levels, I'd say, but the most difficult overall. What is that item that turns you into Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> Wait, which I, oh, the, the speed shoes? Oh, it's, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, I think that's what they are. Yeah, no, they are. <laughs> So we're going to purposely take damage there because you saw that beam of light that came down. If you get hit by that, obviously you take damage, but you kind of stop for a couple of seconds. So that's not good. You don't want to stop. <laughs> Got to go fast. All right. Hopefully I get the swag strats here. Nope. Sometimes it just doesn't work, even though I'm pretty sure I did that as late as I possibly could. You can basically kick there across those platforms and you'll have enough speed to not get hit by that beam of light. Is that faster at all? Yeah, it's faster. So I'm actually going to use safe strats here too, so I'll explain. That you're supposed to drop this box down in the middle of this gap so you could jump over it and then jump back over it on the way back. Now we're going to use a death warp here to that last mouse that we saved. And usually if you're doing, you know, regular strats, you're going to jump over that gap at full speed. And then you'll just death warp back. It's not a big deal. But there's a chance you could get that mouse right there that I was right next to the switch. And if you get that mouse, that's where you'll death warp back to. And if the box isn't put down on that gap in the previous room, you won't be able to jump back, and you'll be stuck there. So you'll have to kill yourself until you game over and restart the level. <laughs> we have $20 from Haggis146. Greetings from Scotland. Keep up the great work for an awesome cause. We have $25 from Thundershot. Good luck on your Sonic El Paso edition, Kiverage. <laughs> the nice thing about the end of the level there is there's like four lives at the end if you just jump. So it's nice in case if you were a newer runner and you really need those lives so you don't game over or right now, just to be safe, it's nice to have. We 
We have seven dollars from Seven Granddad. Wow, Bubsy sure looks different from how I remember it. <laughs> A very grand run, nonetheless. All right, sometimes going down that little slope right there, you, when you go down a slope, the speed that you gain is like, as far as I know, it's completely random. So sometimes you'll go faster like I just did, and sometimes you'll go slower and you'll take extra damage on that next set of um, you know, enemies and that, those light beams. And I have no idea why you would go faster or slower. It just happens that way. So we're gonna skip that little part right there. You could actually, there's a switch on the side here that we're going to. You could actually jump to it immediately, but the game is extremely laggy in this area, so it makes it pretty difficult. So I'm going to purposely die here so I could refill my hearts. Damage boost through these. And we're going to try and hit this button here while going full speed. Nice. So there's a part here where there's a force field in front of the pipe that we need to go into, but you could just jump through the floor to get to it, and that saves about 30 seconds of going to another room and hitting a switch right there. And that's also a super hard, insane trick that I got first try. It's pretty crazy. Nice. <laughs> All right, so this is the second boss in the game. Um, this is this is <laughs> space cat. This is this is the cool cat right here with the sunglasses. <laughs> Shine <and> get. <laughs> so this boss is really easy. You kind of just wait for him to go around in circles, and you hit the switch, and he runs into this right here and gets electrocuted. And you just do that two more times. So you could read some donations now, if you want. We have twenty dollars from Kona Rican. Any chance to make SGDQ last longer is a worthy cause in my book. Let's get that Mega Man 8 incentive met. Also, let's see if we can get Zem to sing for us again at the GDQ. For everyone not watching fireworks, it'll be nice to have some 4th of July celebration. Uh, you know, aside from all the explosions in Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> we have $15 from Hasters. Greetings from Nuremberg, Germany. First time watching SGDQ and also first time donating. Keep your awesome work up. Also, thanks for that Barbie swag. <laughs> it's quite a fight. Yeah, that was pretty hard. <laughs> Alright, so we're coming on to the last world here, which is like the pirate-themed world. And this world is the only other one that also has three levels, and it has a boss battle at the end. So you went back to Earth? I went back to Earth. Yeah, I went to space just <laughs> to come back point? to Earth. I should have just came here first. Yeah, I really? mean, you had to take out the space cats. That's right. Yeah, they're in your way. Oh, this song. <laughs> I'm jamming. I, the music has been getting better. <laughs> yeah, dude. The faster you go, the better it gets. Yeah. And that's a pretty easy level. The next level, I think, is probably... To go, like, the optimal strats, it's probably the toughest in the game overall. <laughs> this music's too good. <laughs> you think it's gonna be a different song? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then this is not. It's just a remix, man. <laughs> this is a good one. The fish are still against you, too. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. They might just be swimming. I wonder if they got a voice actor for that. They must and that's like actually a person. <laughs> uh, all right. So this last part here is actually pretty easy. Um, once you go into this cannon, you could store jumps just by holding B while you're in the air. So I'm going to do that here and then again right here. And I just jump. Oh, or then oh. I die. <laughs> Jeez. So that oh, didn't man. work out as I intended. But usually you could just hold the jump button there on both of those parts and you'll make it to the end pretty easily. 
So now I have to do casual strats here and actually jump to all these platforms. You still get, did good with landing on all the platforms, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the platforming in this game is a lot tighter than I thought it was. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's not too bad, but... There's actually a cool jump here you could do instead of taking the the diving board there, but it's it actually is like frame perfect, I think. Like that's actually frame perfect. <laughs> of course everything else is too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we li we love to throw out the phrase frame perfect, but this is 100% frame, frame perfect. perfect. <laughs> so we're just going to skip this part over here to get to this part. And this was the last level, so we're going into the final boss battle now. Here we go. I love this guy. <laughs> and this guy's not a squirrel, though, unfortunately. The last one was pretty cat-like, too. Yeah, this guy's definitely yeah. a cat. Yeah, yeah. So ideally, we want to <laughs> force cycle him here. Usually, you would only hit <laughs> him twice each cycle. But you could hit him three times, which will bring it from six cycles to four. So I still get to jump into the middle here. And for some reason, it doesn't hurt you if you just keep kicking. <laughs> I have no idea why. These are like the best midis I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the sound design overall is pretty incredible. <laughs> We just need like the Windows 98, like <laughs> Windows player music <laughs> yeah. to play it. <laughs> All right, so this is the last cycle right here. And after this, there's actually a little sequence where you just, you're in this random level where you run right and it tells you to save all the mice. And sometimes I jump over them because I don't really want to <laughs> save them. <laughs> How are you feeling today? Uh, Save the animals or kill the animals, man. Yeah, it's up to you. This is it. I'm gonna. It's all on you. I'm just gonna randomly jump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna hold the jump button over and over again. <laughs> all right. I got so one. Oh man! So at the end of this oh. game is gonna be time. <laughs> all the poor mice, dude. And time. You got three of them. Great job. <laughs> Thank you. That's great. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> the pirate Gato, dude. <laughs> It's done for. <laughs> Sylvester the Gato. Yeah, he runs away right now. Wait, was that just a cliffhanger? Like, were yeah. they going to make Speedy Gonzalez yeah, too? Yeah, I think they're supposed to for the NX. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be <laughs> a it's release coming out game. Soon. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. Uh, they're going to party after this because they're all happy that they were freed, even though I didn't get all of them. Some of them are still in their prison right now. <laughs> yeah, most of them. <laughs> <laughs> Join us in a fiesta, dude. You got all the good ones. That's all the mice I saved right there. Just <laughs> yeah. Gracias. And that's just his sombrero collection. There aren't actually mice wearing those sombreros. <laughs> he just saved their hat. <laughs> so there's a really long hallway of sombreros. <laughs> wow. This is lore. <laughs> there we go. Perfect note to end on. <laughs> <laughs> and then Sylvester runs away. And that's that. So yeah, that's 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 <laughs> <Speedy> Gonzalez. <laughs> so so thank you guys for watching and thank you, GDQ, for having me. Gracias. And that's it. Yeah.